Hey, South Florida, I'm Jana Angel with Living Local, and today we are headed to the PR and marketing experts of the Kristen Rose Agency. I'm sitting down with Kristen Knopfsinger to tell us exactly how she is directing her clients to pivot their messaging during this time and how you can stay connected to your local community with your branding. Kristen, thank you so much for joining me today and welcome to Living Local. I'm happy to be here. Happy to talk to you. It's, it's nice to, to get out of the comfort zone and out of the, you know, the grind every once in a while. I agree. So speaking of the grind, your daily grind is PR and marketing. That is the, the specialty that you have and what the Kristen Rose Agency brings to Delray Beach. How are people navigating that market right now? So the PR environment right now is, is pretty rich. I mean, it, I feel like it's a time that people might think that that my my business might be suffering it's actually flourishing through this moment but as far as like the online clients and the municipal clients because we do represent now the city of Boca right. um, and those are the ones that are kind of like they're different different perspectives city of Boca just started so we're kind of just getting our feet wet with them and then um, I also have several online businesses that are um, subscription boxes mm -hmm. and so they're like you know, gearing up, like this is our chance. Like we right. get all these eyeballs. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. Like you have this opportunity to reach all these eyeballs that you wouldn't have normally reached. All of a sudden your ads have such a capability of, of reaching the people they need to reach. And you have such a opportunity to be the brand that you want to be. I really love you talking about being the brand you always wanted to be because we do have a different kind of time right now and growing that and pushing that and kind of pushing the envelope on things that you always had on that back burner, but maybe didn't really have the chance to buckle down and pursue. Do you have any business tips from your PR insight for maybe smaller businesses that are taking this time to push forward or younger influencers who are looking to break into creating their own brand? Do you have any, any industry tips you want to share? Wow. So those were two different things like <laughs> businesses and, and influencers breaking into their brand. Well, there's like, it's kind of like a two pronged answer because if you're a business that already has a brand, you're already online, you're already, you have your offerings, you have your site, you have your, you know, maybe your blog already and you have all of that stuff set up. Now is the time to activate that um, on a human level. And I don't mean shoving COVID-19 down everybody's throat because obviously right. a lot of people are doing that and that's important and it is important and it needs to be said. It does, it should not be ignored. However, there's, there is a opportunity for your business to be empathetic and to be human and to be genuine. And I feel like really, really smart businesses are jumping on that. And, you know, maybe, and that's double pronged as well, because there's also businesses that are morphing, that are pivoting, you know, um, starting to, you know, like Louis Vuitton making, or LMBH, whatever, making um, hand sanitizer. You know, like there's people that are pivoting in a way that they are adjusting to the times and they're pivoting to be able to provide what people need right now. But also that other side is um, creating your brand to be more relatable, to be more understanding, to be, you know, we have, we have a woman's subscription box. That's um, it's a woman's empowerment box. It basically, and when I say empowerment, it's empowering women entrepreneurs that um, have their own business. And then the box itself, the company itself that made the box is going to give 5% back to women entrepreneurs that are aiming to create their own business. And it's a lovely little box with like a candle and it's got earrings and a clay mask. And all of this stuff is stuff that you would find in like Fit, Fab, Fun or whatever. Right. But in this sense, it's like it has such a unique story and such a beautiful kind of origin that... Is these all these little special delicate things that maybe you might be able to get elsewhere is put together in this this little package that right now at this point in time actually can brighten somebody's day and and make somebody you know somebody that's been homebound for a month and might be looking at another two months because maybe they're immune compromised or whatever you know you can send this little box so that's we've kind of um changed our pitch mm -hmm. to be and I, I actually just kind of like double talked myself but Women's empowerment was like our first kind of pitch, but now our pitch is more like, hey, do you do you want to brighten somebody's day? Do you want to make somebody's um, week? You know, uh, send this box in it, and it'll give them something to look forward to and something happy um, to kind of to kind of get and and feel good about um, while they're sitting at home. We used to work with a lot of different brands, actually branding themselves and rebranding and redoing their logo and their website and all that stuff and finding their message and finding their their slogan and all that and all those things. So bloggers 
this opportunity, if, if there is somebody out there that is looking to start a blog and looking to start their social engagement and start the, everything, um, this is the time that you can really narrow down who do you want to be. Like, answer those questions of like, who would you follow? What What's going to be special and different and unique about you particularly? And so my advice to them would be to like really dig into that, write all those things down, um, really do the research on the blogs that you that you love and that you admire and, and look and dig into them, dig into their posts. I mean, that all takes time. There's so many influencers out there that I would love to look deeper into mm -hmm. just to because we work with them all the time. And they actually now in this in this environment, you know, even more so nowadays, they help us market brands like influencers these days are more like the journalists that we seek out. Mm -hmm. So we we have found them to be a very powerful tool and they've been a very powerful partner in, in many occasions, many situations. This women's collective box, like I want these influencers that we're going to work with to love it as much as I do. I want them to like invest in it and love it and not it, it just be like a sponsored ad. Like I want right. them to like really care about it and care about the people they're going to touch with it. So, yeah. And so in saying that, like, I would love to look deeper into a, an influencer's content to make sure that they're that kind of empathetic, caring person. Right. Not everybody is, not, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. But I think that it's so wonderful now that so many people do have this platform. We can seek out those people who do identify with either that brand or that spirit or the spirit of that brand that we're looking for. And I think something that you touched on that's so valuable for people to know is if you do have that concept or you do have that idea and you do have a brand, you don't necessarily have to do it on your own. I know a lot of people have done a great job building your brand, building uh, their content by themselves, but you can actually reach out to a professional like yourself, like your agency and get help nailing down exactly what it is in terms of that visual brand that everyone else sees because sometimes totally. that's when I feel like people get discouraged is you know they, they they'll get stuck on like the logo or the font or something that really doesn't have anything to do with your brand message at the end of the day and that's where a pro agency can really come in and help you shape that you know if you can bring that spirit of the brand to the messaging. It's so true. A lot of times what I will do, what I used to do when I did more branding was I would have people write down the things that they're, that are most important to them. And so it's like, I wouldn't, somebody might come in and they might be like, Oh, I really like penguins and I want penguin to be in my logo. Well, like, what does that, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Like, you know, like, like, <laughs> like I know, like, do you want to go to the Arctic? Penguins, what are we doing? I know. So I would have them write down, you know, is that penguin, you know, what is the significance of that? And, then, you know, in the process of that, like write down, you know, what are your goals? What are your dreams? Like all that stuff. And then something completely different might come out of that. And they're, they're, they're local is born. And it's cause, So it's kind of like one thing has to come from the other. And this opportunity of all this downtime gives you such a good um, starting point to really dig deep into what do you want to be? And so that's the positive thing about this Corona situation right. is that it's really allowed, you know, it, it's hard to say it's hard to be positive when so many people are losing their jobs I don't want to I don't want to like give that any less credit than it deserves mm -hmm. and, and we obviously those of us that still have our jobs and still have our um, our uh, well-being we should definitely give back I think if there was any time you know like people there's like tsunamis and like hurricanes and earthquakes and things like that and there's always like there's always these big efforts to like reach out well this is worldwide and so it's right. like, I feel like everybody that has something to give needs to give it in one way shape or form um this is the time like it's time i actually heard a really great story in australia the other day about this guy taking out ten thousand dollars cash from his account and giving out a hundred dollars to everybody waiting in line to get food wow. and you know like that that guy might have donated that ten thousand dollars to like some nonprofit. it might have been dispersed in a hundred different places but this was like a real-time thing that he could do and there's so many people in this community that are doing stuff like that right now and i find that so inspiring and anyways the positive thing is that you have this downtime during the busiest time of the year. This is the season where season. everybody that's involved down here in South Florida in anything, any type of business, whether you're an influencer, or you're in a nonprofit or you're working at a corporate firm or whatever, you're going to be doing a lot of stuff this time of the year and you're not. So you can take this time and either sit down and be like, what was me? My life sucks. Everything sucks. World sucks. Or you can take the time to discover 
what is it that you want to be and do when this is over? Because it will, it will be over. This too shall pass. Yeah. It's not as soon as we all would like it to be, but it will, it will be over. It will pass. And our landscape looks completely different now, but we have to figure out what we're going to do with it and how we're going to activate it. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you so much for sharing that 100% positive outlook with us. Where can we keep up with you and your agency and everything that you have to offer this community? Well, we have a website. It's kristenr.com, K-R-I-S-T-E-N-R.com. And we do share a blog on there. Although my plan is to write more blogs and be a little more active on Same. social. <laughs> so that's part of my, like, adjusting my landscape. That's that's on the docket. I will get started on that very shortly. Um, and then also social media on um, Instagram and Facebook, Kristen Rose Agency at Kristen Rose Agency. So, and then we're in Delray Beach. Um, when this is over, I'll be happy to have a cocktail and yes. for coffee or whatever. <laughs> yes, we'll have a, just have a big old party. I can't wait. There, I can't wait to like hug people again. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm ready for like my glass to actually clink with somebody and to actually get to hug my friends. And uh, seriously, I know, it'll, I know it'll be here soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for living local with me today. And we'll make sure that everyone has all the links so that they can keep up with you and your team and all the great things that you're doing. Thank you so much.